serves for Nebraska to start this third set. It's a two out of three set match from here on out. And a kill right away on the right side by Kaylee Nelson to open scoring here in the third. That's only Kaylee Nelson's third kill. Quiet night so far for her, but starts off this third set with a big one. Nebraska answers as the Huskers get Washington out of system. Right now, Nebraska doing the little things, keeping that ball alive on a trouble play and getting Washington in trouble on their first contact. Nelson coming up big from that right side. Back to back kills on the right side for Kaylee Nelson. Jade Finell, 22 in white, sets a, be a beautiful ball to the right side. Nelson rotates out. She's accounted for both Husky points here. Strickland sets it up for Jones. again on the left side, getting the point for the Huskers. Well, first one seemed like Amber Rolfson on the right got that ball to fall, and then Katie Rolfson to end this rally through the block. Justine Juanarante is back to serve, the sophomore from Cypress, California. Service error. Ames, Iowa, their regional final is now set as Florida survives a thriller against Illinois, winning in five sets. And it will be Stanford and Florida matching up tomorrow on ESPNU. That will be in the afternoon. Haggerty with the kill for the Huskers. Megan Haggerty heads up play, fourth kill. Sydney Townsend rotating in for Nebraska, going back to serve now for the Huskers. Townsend, a freshman from Lincoln, local product. And Paul Miller secures the point for the Huskers. Mary Paul Miller, we've talked about her running the offense, but that's her fifth kill on nine swings. She's one of their best offensive players, specifically tooling the block. Very offensive-minded setter. She started her career at Tennessee. It's the SEC freshman of the year, in fact. out of the back row, Annika Albrecht, freshman from Illinois. Washington really pushing off balance for Samantha, covers his ball, but no real good offensive looks. Usually they attack in transition off this. Nebraska seems to be more offensive-minded in transition. Turning digs into points, and that's key to winning a match like this. Finally, Washington wins the point to pull within one. Strickland will go back to serve. <laughs> Tooling the block is Rolfson, point to Nebraska. Katie Rolfson using that big block, high hand. This Nebraska team's been tested. They're in the Big Ten, they played in front of big crowds, big blocks. Classmen. I wonder if people will consider this team overachieving or if they'll give them that luxury. I mean, this was quite a job to get this team to this stage with all the youth they have. Another Houston winning in 
building champions in Nebraska. This is a great effort. Jones misses on that swing, point to Nebraska. Last year it was Washington losing at this stage to Penn State. And Nebraska made the regional final last year losing to Texas. Washington has three new players on the floor. Tia Scambray, Chrissy Jones, and redshirt freshman Bailey Tanner running the offense. Three in integral parts of their team. Ace for Rolfson prompts a timeout to be called by Washington. So the Husker championships following that trip to Asia. I would do that every year. <laughs> Hitting air for Washington, very uncharacteristic. This Washington team is low air, and they're not playing that way right now. Why do you think that is? I'm not quite sure. Do you, do you think it's playing at home? Do you think it's something Nebraska's doing? Just one of those nights? There's a successful swing by Jones. Because I know I was here doing their match against Oregon in the regular season, and they look drastically different. Look a little tighter tonight. Definitely tighter, but we have to credit Nebraska. They're yeah. putting the pressure. They're serving well. Nebraska's they're playing, playing good loose. defense, and they're playing loose. A lot of smiles and just the body language so different on the Nebraska side right now. But it's such a momentum-driven sport. That could change in the blink of an eye. That's the offensive-minded Paul Miller, the setter. Another attack. Paul Miller again, unbelievable. That's her sixth kill. No errors, 27 assists and eight digs. She's flirting with a triple double tonight. Ten to five, Nebraska. Make it eleven to five. How about that heads up shot to the corner by Paul Miller? I mean, that deep tip to the corner doesn't draw very often. But she knows that Washington sucks in on defense and that deep shot's open. Nebraska hitting 533 in this set.
happen in volleyball, Holly, when theoretically you have control of sets. I mean, when you're setting, you can determine who you're going to set to. Exactly. Well, you have to pass well enough to deliver a good ball, and, and that's making decisions. That's a setter deciding where they want to run the offense. She goes to the back yeah. court. Outside hitter from Dana Point, California, part of that T Street volleyball group with Chrissy Jones, Cassie Strickland, <laughs> Bailey Tanner, of course, because the T Street volleyball club started by Troy Tanner. Bailey's dad. There's the three of them back in the T Street days. That's a whole other topic, Holly, just how club volleyball has taken over in all parts of the U.S. now where it used to not be the case. Jones with a hammer as the Huskies pick up a much-needed point. Well, interesting play there. Chrissy Jones, number 28 for Washington, attacking at the libero for Nebraska, Justine wong -Arantes. Both those players played at Los Alamitos High School together. Now the joust at the net. Let's see which way it goes. It's going to Nebraska. Net violation on the follow through on the joust. Just the little things and, and you know, attention to detail, taking care of the little things. Jim McLaughlin stresses it. And those little things aren't happening for Washington right now. Paul Miller, the setter, wins that battle. 19 to 11. Perfectly placed. Nelson finds the opening. Kaylee Nelson definitely helping the offense. That's her seventh kill for Washington. This one from the left. freshman team this year among the league leaders in aces. Kill by Fien. Kelsey Fien going high off the hands. Eight kills. Gets her back into the positive hitting figures for Nebraska. Side of the court. Very Reminder. effective. Sorry, Holly. Reminder the winner of this moves on to 
face BYU tomorrow night for the chance to go to the national semifinals. And the story brewing here is that we could have two upsets tonight in Seattle. Still a long way from that. And if Krista Van Sant can start getting more touches, Washington's not going to have to worry about being upset. Washington needs to get Krista Van Sant the ball. It's time. Down the line, able to get a touch by the defender. Nelson with the block. Sabelden there with the assist. And a timeout by Nebraska. Washington averages three blocks per set. But you're welcome. <laughs> Another tight match here. 20 to 16, Nebraska leading Seattle on its home court. Seattle was in USC last year. Or excuse me, Washington was at USC last year. Cecilia Hall continues continues to have an amazing night. 11 kills off 13 swings, hitting 846. Washington needs to do a better job stopping Nebraska's middles. She gets her feet way inside that ball, still able to hit the sharp angle. It's hard when you can't control a match and you're the best player in the country. You want to try and take more control. Washington again playing from behind. Remember all those set points Nebraska enjoyed in that second set. And Washington just could not close the gap ultimately. It's a three-point deficit now faced by the Huskies. Arena finally was something to cheer about as Washington's been playing from behind this entire set. Krista Van Sant finally coming to life for the Huskies as well as she's picked up her game over the last few points. Three kills in this set. Watch her get her feet here way inside in transition. Still able to hit that sharp angle but when Krista Van Sant goes so does this Washington team, and they need to keep her involved all the time. I think that's what went wrong in that second set. Nebraska was here. <laughs> so many was here. Yeah, there's so many things that tie these programs together in the tournament. Rolfson, big power. Van Sant keeps it alive. Washington within one. It's good. Fans don't like it, but the call will stand, and Nebraska moves ahead 23-21. Katie Rolfson, big cross-court swing. Cassie Strickland, the libero for Washington, all over it. Thought it was out. Rolfson with the serve. That's Amber. Again is Scambre as she's come up big with a couple of crucial kills here in these last few moments. That's her fifth kill. Brings Washington within one. Strickland is back to serve their most powerful server. But the Huskers are unfazed. It is set point Nebraska. 
Katie Rolson with that last kill now rotates back to serve. Watch that. Look at that pass. Lands right in center. Mary Paul Miller's hands and they can run their offense. Trying to take this crowd out of it. It's up two sets to one.